Hello everybody, this is the Capus Games, and welcome to Robocraft 101. In this series, I will be covering the Robocraft ser uh, game and guides. And today we'll be looking at the balance between CPU, weapon energy, and health. Now first off, uh, what is the CPU bar? The CPU bar basically is the maximum amount of size of robot, uh, of your robot. If you take a look at the top right corner, you see CPU, weapon energy, health, and health boost. You can see three block, uh, three CPU, two CPU, one CPU, zero CPU. These blocks here, you can take here at the stat card. It has 1500 health, 1000 uh, P flop of CPU, so one point, 10 kilograms of mass, and health boost zero point zero five percent. That's how this system works. Add uh, some more. Here you get six CPU, and it will go up to 18 if you place three of uh, rows of them. Every part has their own CPU system, for example a propeller thunderbolt, which is an epic part, has a uh, robot CPU load of 100 P flops. Well, for example, a electric shield A left has 24 P flops. Or a Tesla Nova here, 24. This is a, because of the fact that you can only build up to 2000 CPU for normal matches, and for custom matches 10,000 CPU in case of a Megabot. You uh, do have to make some choices. You cannot say place 100 freaking thunderbolts <laughs> because your entire CPU bar will be instantly filled and you will not be able to use any other part. Now, the next up is weapon energy. Weapon energy bar uh, is starts at 20,000 and decreases over time as you add more parts. For example, I'll add a few big parts. These ones have 100 pfops of CPU. Extend the body. Here now the CPU is 436. And I currently have 90,564 P flops. Uh, sorry, weapon energy points. Basically, right now it's one P flop at uh, two or minus two energy. So if I remove these two, I've got 66 and I've got 64 in the end. However, at some point, if you have a large enough craft, I'll have to extend this thing a little bit for that first and then add something rather large can take a laser Leviathan. and now I got 748 now it's 750 still 9250 points However, uh, after you add another part, as you can see, it, go down, it goes down to 90,236 for 2 instead of 48. So after 750 CPU, you start losing more energy uh, compared to the CPU. And this go goes all the way up to 2000 CPU. So I will be building a small frame-like structure. Getting some other parts on here. Let's say two Goliath and plasma launchers. Now I got 14, uh, uh, 1404 CPU, and I'm all the way down to 14,018 energy points. And that means we got uh, the de uh, degeneration is even for further. The weapon energy bar goes down uh, all the way to 10,000 uh, energy points at. 2000 CPU. After 2000 CPU, so in the Mega World League, you do not lose any more energy. So that's a good thing. And next up is the health boost. For this, I will be deleting this final little build. And starting anew. You can see it health first the health bar and uh, uh, then health boost. If you place one part, two thousand CPU, uh, it's rounded off to one thousand points. A single one, so six thousand. But here is already eight thousand instead of seven thousand five hundred because each of these has fifteen hundred health and five of them are there, so that's a total of seven five hundred instead of eight thousand. And here you see you got 025 percent health boost. So all of these parts right here have 025 percent more health. This is thanks to the uh, extra armor ports, right here, 0.05%. Every single block you add, including for this ones, as well as these ones, 
but these ones and these ones don't do not and other functional parts like these all the way to down here all do not add those extra health only the light cubes and the health cubes so if I add this 50 CPU block I get 0.75 percent health boost now this stacks up to indefinitely I'll take for uh, for example my Titan Mark V Bumblebee, which is my personal megabot. Here you can see the stats goes all the way up to 10,000 CPU, it only has 10,000 energy. As I said, 12, 000, uh, 12 million 365,000 health and 257.05 percent bonus uh, health boost. So all these parts are 3.57 times tougher than they should normally be you know and when having no armor parts which is pretty nice because it's take a m it will take much longer for your uh, guns to get shot off since in this game similar to uh, cross out you got pretty much a disarming race going on especially if only a few weapons such as a build like this one only has two shotguns and two nanos for healing. So this only has four guns, but those get shot off rather quickly, especially when uh, facing enemy reels. So that's kind of hard. Anyway, going back to uh, edit mode. We're gonna take a look at the light cube. The light cube, right here, you can see you can add, ju uh, they're just as big. They do have to look differently. They are colorful as well. Right here, but they look rather weird sometimes. Personally, I think it looks amazing, that glow on effect on it. And it's a little bit blue overlay on it, however. So I'm not sure how I should feel about that. Because it's not really compatible with certain other parts. Colors, such as colors like this. It's gonna look weird. On this or these colors. So I'm not really sure how I should feel about these colors, but for now that's what we got. Anyway, for the set card of the light cube, we got 4500 health, which is three times as much as the normal cube, three p-flops of CPU, which is also triple, but only two kilograms of mass. These cubes are very very strong, but they have high CPU cost. And at the same time, they are very light, since these ones, of course, have 10 kilograms of mass. So these are only one-fifth of the weight, well, three times the health, three times the CPU load. However, it only has one-third of the health boost compared uh, compared to the CPU of the health cube. So if you want something that has a high health boost, you can better go on with getting a bigger bot uh, and heavier with these blocks than having the light cubes. The light cubes are more for, like, planes, drones, or stuff like that. Also, now with the new armor uh, normalization, means that the or well, it's re-added. It used to be normalization as well. You see, 1500, and this little small, tiny little cube, it's much smaller, also has 1500 health. Except they all, but these cubes and these cubes have the exact same stat. And these small cubes, and these cubes also have exactly the same stats. So you do not uh, have to worry about how uh, you make your bot uh, look like because you can just use some corner parts like so and make it look slightly prettier and you will not lose any effectiveness with making it look pretty. Like this. These all have the succession stats, so you do not have to worry about placing corners compared to normal cubes. Although it's a little bit funky that these parts are, are um, apparently denser or whatever than the normal cubes, so they have more um, more health per size. But the hitbox of these cubes are actually the same. Like if you get uh, one shooting, so. Yeah, you do not have a advantage because having denser armor. You actually, if you hit right here, you should actually damage this block. If I'm not mistaken. And it's the same with the blight yet. Normal cubes right here, of course. So, that doesn't really make any difference. 
Anyway, that concludes it for the armor uh, guide, uh, basic armor protection guide of Robocraft. And I will see you guys all later. Bye bye.